Hey everyone and welcome back. So, today anti-feminism is getting wrecked. We're all gonna get destroyed, people. I'm afraid there's just no way around it. This time, we're just outclassed. But being honorable people, we're gonna keep fighting to the bitter end. Enjoy! Hello everyone. It is... it's me. Very astute. Uh, it's me, Anna. I am back. I am here. Thank you, Professor, for explaining that you are you and you are there. Stop wasting my time. And I've done the unspeakable. Really? Who'd you kill? Tell us, tell us. I've delved into the world of feminism clickbait on YouTube. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Why me of all people would do that? You ask? No, I didn't. Because it gets views. And you're somehow against that, or what? You're probably wondering, Anna, you only have 90 subscribers. No one wants to hear your opinion. I want to hear your opinion. I love opinions. That's why I'm here. Well, I'm not here to talk about my opinion. Uh, maybe I'll briefly go over my opinion. You're not here to talk about your opinions, but maybe you'll talk about your opinions. Got it. If I get triggered enough? Triggered? You? Never. That's about it. I was scrolling through YouTube and I was going through my recommendations as usual because no one I subscribe to ever uploads, like ever. Yes, very interesting. Now get to the point. And there seemed to be a lot of videos about fem feminism. Yeah, a lot of videos about feminism. Oh, that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Good to know. I wasn't sure. What? What? Probably because of that Atozi video I watched last night. Don't ask which one. All of them. Sorry, you dragged the answer out of me. That joke would have been funnier if I knew the fuck you're talking about. No hate, though. I've got nothing but love in my heart. So I got thinking, what would happen if I just casually typed in feminism into YouTube? What would happen? If you like that, try typing in midget porn. And immediately I'm struck with mostly hate videos about feminism and extreme feminist videos hating anti-feminists. What do you mean hate videos? You mean people disagreeing? I don't know which videos you found, but I certainly don't hate anyone. Nothing but love, remember? I certainly dislike and disapprove of certain ideologies, but that's all. Now, I'm all for equality, and as far as I'm concerned, spreading hate speech and attacking another group for their opinions is not equality. Okay, asshole, why don't you give me your definition of hate speech? Because even though you Brits and Australians love prosecuting people for it, as far as I know, you haven't made criticizing an ideology hate speech yet. Yet. Because I'm sure it's coming. But for now, it only applies to certain protected characteristics like gender, race, or sexual orientation. Feminism is neither of those. Because contrary to popular belief, all women are not feminist by default. Not even most women, actually. That's just me. I don't know if anyone else thinks any different, but... But if you do, it's hate speech, right? <sighs> Whew. It's getting hot in here. It's so hot. So the majority of the content that I found to be at like the top of the search, you know, was it was mostly hate videos. You can't just throw that term around. What do you mean hate videos? You really need to explain this shit because it sounds like you're just talking about people disagreeing. And if you haven't gone totally off the deep end and want to implement a Marxist communist dictatorship, disagreement is something that is vital to democracy and very, very much allowed. We run our countries by running our mouth. People hating people for not being feminist and people hating f people for being feminist. In other words, people disagreeing. Like, it was a lot of feminist cringe compilations. That's not hate speech, that's comedy. And feminist gets wrecked. Also not hate speech. Or reasons why you should be a feminist. Well, that's called the source material for the comedy. All up in this section. Section 31. Which I found very interesting. Well, that's good. Interesting is good. As I delve further into the feminist discussion kind of genre on YouTube. Well, at least in this part of the video, you call it discussion and not hate speech. So I guess we'll just have to be thankful for small favors. But that's not going to last, is it? It's a, 
I've discovered that it's a really big thing and a lot of people are very heavily into it. Like, it gets a lot of views and a lot of attention really quick. Yeah, because it's funny. You remember fun, don't you? It's the other side of the coin of boring. Never in the history of boredom has anyone been more bored than I am right now. From this delving into the world of feminism discussion. Still calling it discussion, good girl. Good girl. I found that a lot of it is just hate speech. Damn it, you were so close to getting rid of that idiotic term. Damn, damn, damn. Will you ever define what you mean by that term? No, of course you won't. And I figured out it's because people love to fuel their own opinions and lavish in ignorance. Hey, moron. Fucking moron. Not agreeing with your opinion is not ignorance. Saying what you just said, though, that might be ignorance. Yep. Glad we agree. I found this out by not much thinking. I can see you're a real expert in that field. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Okay. Apparently it does take a genius. People will go out of their way to find, create, and promote ideas that are similar to their own. It's just human nature to associate your people with similar ideas. Figured that out for ourselves, did we? Yes, people seek out other people with similar opinions. Golly gee, who'd have thought? But there's nothing wrong with being friends with people who don't share similar ideas to you. I agree. I have several friends who don't agree with me on politics. That doesn't mean we don't have other things in common. Like, it just opens up the table for even more discussion, which in my opinion is good. Then stop calling it fucking hate speech all the time. Discussion is good. Yes, we've been over this. We're allowed to talk about things. Are we though? Not much discussion is going to take place when you call the opinions of your opponent hate speech. For the third time. I need your support. Not your damn skepticism. Hence, I'm here talking about things. Hashtag me too. You notice how I don't mention which extreme group I'm talking about, like fueling themselves with only content they want. Doesn't matter which group you're talking about. All people consume the content they want. Do you sit around in your apartment watching boring shit you hate? And yes, I wanted to watch your video right now because I knew I could have some fun with it. Yeah. Because extreme feminists and extreme anti-feminists both do it. You're fucking making me repeat myself. Read my non-existent lips. Everyone does it. They both fuel on their negativity and hating other people. How do you know that? You can't know what other people are thinking. I only know a snowflake cannot exist in a storm of fire. What? The only problem I have with people sharing their opinion is when they don't, when other people share their opinion about the topic that this person A is talking about. <laughs> what? That didn't make any sense. What are you even talking about? So person A says, I hate feminism. Smart guy. Person B says, oh, well, I believe in feminism for these and these reasons. What a moron. Person A then proceeds to personally attack person B for having those opinions and calls them out for being wrong and, and just is a mess instead of person A could have just been like, oh, I see where you're coming from. You make some interesting points. But they didn't make any interesting points. All they said was, I believe in this religion called feminism. And whatever comes after that doesn't really matter. All you can really do is just laugh at it. You know, not everyone needs to have the same opinion as you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> the projection is so palpable you could wrap it up and beat somebody to death with it. Gee, what a shock. So yes, it annoys me when people are sitting up on their high horses and spreading their opinions and not giving any chance for other people to criticize them. Wait, what happened? What are we talking about now? Who is it that closes their comment sections? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be feminist, could it? Or be able to take criticism is when I get annoyed. You're welcome to criticize my ass straight to hell. 
that's my opinion. I don't like people who can't take other people's opinions because they're dumb. I agree with you again. Amazing. So what's your opinion on people sharing their opinion and using a, a platform like YouTube to openly attack others and criticize other people? Okay, what the fuck happened now? Not 10 seconds ago you said you don't like people who can't take other people's opinions. Criticism is an opinion. Unless you're a mathematician or something. Leave your comment below and we can have an open discussion about anything I mentioned in this video. Good. I like that. I respect that. So yeah. Share opinions down in the comments. Uh, leave a like or a dislike. I don't care, just as long as I get attention. I thrive off attention and right now I'm not getting any because I've been in my house for four days. Wow, I don't think I can explain millennial thinking more succinctly than that last sentence. And for that, we thank you. Uh, au revoir. Adios. Au revoir, mon général. I am unfamiliar with that term on you. What? It's French. It means ciao. Ciao. It means adios. Vida Zay. Sayonara, which all very loosely translated me. Yes, and on that note, I think we'll call it a day. So thanks for watching and sayonara. I guess that was worth seeing. What? That's, that's all you have to say?